how to clone virtual machines in Azure. So this one is um, virtual machine created in Azure. Let's say that we have already configured it with our custom software. For example, in a development scenario with Visual Studio and SQL or other tools we may use internally or we may use for development or, or uh, internal processes. So one of the first things we have to do is generalize the virtual machine in order to create an image. And then that image is the one we are going to use in order to create virtual machines based on that pre-existent configuration. The advantage of that is that we can reuse that image to create several uh, virtual machines from the same image and we don't have to reinstall everything in each new um, virtual machine or development scenario or deployment. So in order to generalize the virtual machine or the base source virtual machine, we are going to open a common prompt and we are going to navigate to Windows System32 Sysprep and we are going to run this command Sysprep slash generalize then we will see this um, dialog we want to select enter system out of box experience check generalize and select shouldn't now we have to be aware that once we do this this virtual machine will stop being accessible we won't be able to use it anymore so we'll have to delete it later on if we are okay with that we can proceed if we are not okay with that we should stop at this step and don't do the general generalization okay since I am sure I want to do this I'll just hit okay and we'll see that this system uh, is working we see that the sys preparation uh, is running and after a couple of minutes um, we will be disconnected from this virtual machine and we will be able to um, create the, to continue in the further in the next steps, which will be to create the actual um, image from this. So we will wait a couple of minutes so it finishes and we will continue. What will happen here is that we will be pretty will be disconnected from the remote desktop session when it finished once it is done so let's wait okay we see that we are disconnected and we see that this virtual machine is running but we won't be able to we won't be able to connect at this step once we are here we can click capture we can select to create the image I will let it with the default name but we should use other Okay, the resource group to have all the images inside uh, a resource group for that. Since we are, we can check this automatically delete this virtual machine after creating the image, and we actually, uh, it will be good if we do it uh, because we won't be able to access this this virtual machine anymore. So we can check it. I won't select it yet since I will select it later on so I'll hit create and 
this process will start creating the image based on the virtual machine that has already been um, prepared or generalized. Okay. Once this process is done, we will be able to, we will see the image and we will be able to navigate to the images to the image and create a virtual machine from that. So let's wait a couple of minutes so this process finishes. Okay, not yet. If we see this current step is actually trying to stop the virtual machine we were working on. This will also deallocate the virtual uh, virtual machine. Okay, so we see that it successfully created an image. So now what we will do is we will go to search for the image here, Let's say more services, image. We will select these images. We will now select this BM customized image that we created and we will select create BM. Here, we will create a new VM. And Okay, so I'll create this in a new resource group just for demo purposes. Okay, I'll select the size. I'm selecting this one. Select the settings. So for the moment, I'll set all the defaults and I will create the new virtual machine based on the customized image we created. So now we have to wait for the deployment process to finish. So if we go to virtual machines, we will see in a couple of seconds, we will see the new um, virtual machine being created. So we see here that this VM from image is in the status of creating. So we wait for it to be on a status of running.
it may take a while for that to happen. And if we see, if we go to RGPM from images, we will see we will see all of the um, associated components to the virtual machine, like the virtual network, the stars account, the disk, the network interface, the public IP address, and the network security group. So we're still creating the virtual machine. So we have to wait a little bit longer. Now, currently, when after we create after we create the image, after we create the virtual machine from an image from a customized image, uh, there is a small issue. We won't be able to create or to establish a remote desktop connection to the virtual machine. Um, basically, when we select this VM from image or the actual image of the virtual machine we have created based on a customized image, uh, we will see the connect button grayed out, disabled. So that means we cannot download a, um, the RDP file necessary to connect. F even more, we cannot create or we can connect to that IP through uh, RDP protocol. That's basically because the security rule for RDP is not enabled when we create the virtual machines in this way. So let's wait a little longer and when it is in running, I'll show you what I mean. So it's taking a little while, so we'll, we'll have to wait a little bit, a little bit longer. Okay, so we now see that the status changed to running. So we should be able to connect, at least that's the normal behavior when creating virtual machines from the Azure Store gallery of the marketplace. However, as I was mentioning before, in this specific mode of creating virtual machines based on a customized image, we see this connect button disabled. So what we will do is we will go to the network interfaces 
we will go to the security group and and the security group we will see these inbound security rules we will add a new rule and we will name it RDP or however we want to name it we will select the RDP protocol from here we will check allow and we will click OK we will wait for the security rule to be created and once that is created we should be able to connect and we should be able to see the connect button enable in the virtual machine so we're gonna have to be um, from image we will see that the connect button is actually enabled now so we try to connect in a couple of seconds we should be able to establish the connection Okay. So it requested us for our credentials and now it's trying to it's actually logging in logging logging into the um, virtual machine. And this is the virtual machine which was created from the generalized image. So we see this is a new image, a new virtual machine from the image. And we should still have this here so we will be able to create additional virtual machines based on this image and that's basically the way to clone virtual machines in the new azure portal um, that's what we will see today but um, there is also a way to automate the virtual machine creation so we can have we have this automation script which we can run in PowerShell or in .NET, which has, are the mostly the most used um, techniques. And basically, we just copy the code and replace the parameters, and we create the virtual machine um, based based on that. We have the template here, and we have um, the parameters that it requests us. So that's really straightforward to do. See you later. Like the video if you like it and share it. Thanks.